Economics is, is about trying to discern truth in, in the world. I suppose in a post-truth world, one of the things economists can do is confront politicians with facts. I would be happy to see economists engage more in the public debate on questions that uh, we're expert on. By and large, in the Western world, we're, you know, science, uh, which has brought great benefits to society, is funded from public monies in many ways. And so, of course, we should try to talk to the public. Economics is about what publics are doing. And I think uh, it would be a very good idea for us to develop effective ways to, to speak to the public where we have something expert to say. There are two areas I think are, are pretty exciting for economics in general, and one is my area, is market design, thinking about the detailed rules of marketplaces and how they interact with markets. But the other is the increasing availability of, of what's being called big data. As we learn to connect these data sets, the, our reliable knowledge about how the parts of the economy fit together will, will grow, and that will have policy implications. Think of the discussions of income inequality that we're having. You, in order to have those properly, you need to know what the facts are, uh, you know, how income is growing across regions, across generations, across people with different educational levels. We will start to understand those things better as we understand better what the facts are. The burning question might be uh, global warming. A lot of people live very close to sea level. We're not very good at dealing with large human migrations, you know, refugee, we have a refugee crisis now from civil wars in Syria and Afghanistan. But if the sea rises, we're gonna see a great deal of human migration. So on the one hand, it would be good to ameliorate climate change. On the other hand, we're gonna to have to think about how to accommodate movement of lots of people. <music>